Hello, and what is going on today, guys? Tomcat here, and welcome back to Spin Tires. Now, in this video, we've got a couple of vehicles, but we're focusing both on uh, one of the vehicles specifically and the map. The map is new. Uh, it's called Rough Trails. It's a it's a decently large map. Um, there's a lot of areas that don't really have anything in them quite yet, um, but there are some really cool trails, some fun-looking trails from what I saw from the screenshots. I've never tried this map out before. And um, there's also the new uh, DCMT F450, and this truck is really, really interesting because it's got a whole lot of customization options. It's got a bunch of different, uh, like, bed options. Um, right now, we have it in the rescue truck, uh, rescue truck configuration, but it can be changed. Uh, and I'll show you guys right here what I'm talking about. If we take the utility bed off, we've got a, um, a dump truck bed that can be put on it. You can do a, you can do it like a, like a cistern, like a fuel tank. You can do, uh, like, like a utility, you know, kind of hauling bed. You can do also a, uh, you can do a box, and you can do, uh, you can do a rollback tow truck as well, uh, which is really interesting. So if you wanted to spawn multiple of these in, you could have one as a support rig, and the other one as, like, say, a flatbed tow truck, uh, depending on what map you were on and what you wanted to do. I'm actually going to spawn the tow truck in because I haven't really seen what it looks like. Okay, it doesn't look too bad. Alright, so it looks like it looks like a proper tow truck, which I was curious as to how it was going to look, like if it was going to look like a proper tow truck or if it was going to look a little odd. Now, this truck obviously is still a work in progress. There's a lot more to do, um, but we're also going to go ahead and take the, um, take the XJ crawler out for a little bit of a spin and explore this map a little bit because I've never been on this map before. And the nice thing about having that rescue truck is the fact that if, for some reason, uh, if for some reason, you know, we do get stuck, uh, or this jeep rolls over, we'll, uh, we'll have that rescue truck to come, uh, to come and help rescue it. So, the thing is, I may intentionally get this thing stuck just to see what the rescue truck can do, um, just as an experiment. But, ooh, let's stay, let's stay on the road, please, at least until we get to the trail. <laughs> Well, that's a dramatic difference. It goes from paved road to, like, off-road trails instantly. Like, there's no, there's no build-up to it, there's no, it's just like, you go from, you go from paved road to off-road trail. Now, let's go ahead and stick right in third gear, well, not really third gear, low three, um, and start to crawl up over these. Wow, okay, this is a really cool trail network. You've got trails down there, you've got trails up to the side. I'm gonna kind of go straight, oh my god, that's... The, this texture is weird. It makes the angles really deceiving, actually. Really, really deceiving. And definitely when you're on a new crawling map for the first time, you kind of have to take it slow, because you have no idea what could be over the next ledge. I do like how he incorporated that lumber into the hill climb, though. That's, re that's really, really cool. It's like, it's cool aesthetically, and it adds an interesting gameplay dynamic to it. No problem for this XJ, though. It just walks right up. No, like, dude, no issues at all. I love how it's got a racing steering wheel. That's that's a nice plus. Ah, oh, it doesn't have an interior view, though, so you can't really see it from inside, but... Oh, well. Let's see what's at this next... at the end of this next hill. Okay, so it definitely... it definitely does keep getting more and more interesting as you go. The only thing is, I wonder if that rescue truck could actually, like, make it out here. You know, I wonder, so if this, if this went wrong out here, could the rescue truck even make it out to help you? I think what we'll end up doing is, we'll just see, we'll actually, we'll put this somewhere where the rescue truck, that, that's, like, they, you've got rock crawling sections just everywhere. There's, like, one to the left, and, like, you don't really need a ton of extra space, you know, to create your own trails, even if you wanted to. But, yeah, I think I might intentionally get this thing stuck at some point. We'll try to bring the rescue truck out here just to see if it can come out here and what it can do, you know, like, once it actually, once it actually gets out here. Um, and if it can make it up some of these hills. This Jeep has kind of been, like, a really good... Uh, just like a really good standby vehicle for a long time. I mean, if you want to explore a realistic map, and that's the other thing, is they said they wanted to make this map realistic, they wanted to make it feel like an off-road park, and I think they've done a really good job of that so far. It feels like, it feels like something that you could actually drive to, um, and actually go and climb up with a, you know, with a built off-roader, like a Jeep or a Toyota or something. Um, really anything, like a buggy, uh, but it feels like a really, really realistic, really well thought out map, which is what you, uh, th that's, that's really what I like to see, and there's kind of, there haven't been many of those in a while. Um, that used to be the main thing, but I think a lot of the people lately have kind of either shied away from that, or a lot of the map makers have stopped releasing some of their maps, so it depends on what, um, 
It depends on what kind of side of the community you're on, uh, whether or not you uh, you make more realistic maps or if you make kind of like slightly more cartoony maps. Um, but the realistic ones are definitely, I think, some of the most fun in my opinion. It's definitely cool you get this like gully with a little bit of mud in it, a little combination of like mud, water, rocks. There's definitely a lot to do. A lot to do. This thing flexes like crazy. What's up ahead? I'm gonna like throw it in high real quick and come up here and see what's up here. Does it loop around? I'm curious. I'm gonna bring up the map in a second and see if it like looped around to the back. Um, or like looped around back to where we came from, which I don't think it it did. God, you can even use this as a trail. Okay, yeah, no, we're definitely not looping around. So this is a trail, and it goes all the way down out into here, which I really want to see what's out there. Like, that looks really interesting to me. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to... Dang it, there we go. <laughs> Did not mean to shut my all-wheel drive off. That's, like, the last thing I wanted to do. That is really cool. I haven't seen anybody do this in a long time where they've made a trail go down a river, but there's rock crawling as part of the trail itself, uh, that, which is in the river. That's really, really cool and adds to the adventure feel of this map. I like it a lot. Like, big, big props uh, to the maker of this map for doing that. I really like it, and I think he's, I, I think he's really on the right track as far as making interesting interesting new maps that we haven't really seen in a long time. Like, we haven't really seen this style uh, in a long time, and I like it. Let's see if we can... Oh, God. Let's see if we can get up this hill and high, or if it's... or if the ground's too loose for it. Oh, God, okay. I mean, this Jeep is really quick and high, so... When you do put it up there and high, it definitely... it definitely goes. <laughs> it really... it really does. I'm like, ooh. There we go. Trying to make sure that, like the Jeep stays level too, because that that can be that can be kind of hard. That can be kind of hard to do. A little tricky. Up and through these next few rock sections. This is weird. It's like rocks that are stacked on top of each other. Jeep handles it no problem. I mean, but it's like aesthetically, it's a really interesting touch that I haven't seen before. Well, I can't say I haven't seen it before. I've seen it before. I just haven't seen it done with as many rocks as that. A little bit further up the hill. Come on, Jeep. A little bit further up the hill. Then once we get around here, we should be into the... Okay, I, I want to see what's in that, like, that blank-looking area, because I, I guarantee you there's... It's either completely blank, or there's something interesting out there that we haven't seen at all yet. It looks like it's probably going to be blank, but at the same time, I mean, you never know. It is spin tires, so there could be something interesting and cool out there. I think, well, this, this is an interesting hill climb. This is an interesting hill climb because if you have a really wide vehicle, you're gonna have a bad time. This XJ is kind of the perfect size for it, but still, if you have a really wide vehicle, you may end up having a bad time on this hill climb. A little bit, we'll climb over that. Okay, yeah, no problem at all. No problem whatsoever. Just a little bit further now, and we should get up, get into that open, uh, bleh, the open clearing. I don't know why I was having so much trouble saying open clearing. Oh no, it is open. It is completely open. The map didn't lie, that's for sure. Does the trail, like, go on? Come on. Come on, I put you on high for a reason. There we go. The trail kind of, okay, definitely a work in progress, because the trail kind of stops. It doesn't just kind of stop, it really stops. Although, oh, oh, wow, that's actually, that's actually pretty cool, though. So there's definitely, like, you could bomb some hills. I do like having open space in maps. I mean, and I, I definitely, oh, no. There it goes. It's good, though. No big deal. Put it back up into high, and that should, that should be able to pull it back up the hill. Just find some grip. Find some grip. There it is. Oh, there's like, there's a road out here. Okay, so there is, there is some resemblance of a road. Um, oh, it should fall back down, no problem, though. Let's back up just a tad, and then, where are we at on the map? Uh, it, no, no, I don't want to do that. Alright, so we could actually drive the truck 
like right through here <laughs> if we really wanted to. But I want to see how the truck in tow truck form uh, does on some of these trails because I, I feel like it might have a little bit of an issue, which is completely, you know, which is completely expected. Um, but it, in, in, in the end of the day, though, it is a rescue truck, so I think it should be able to get to at least some... Oh, dear. Oh, dear God. That's all... That's, like, so much understeer. I've never experienced that much understeer before. That's the most understeer I think I've ever experienced in spin tires. It literally just went straight. It literally just went straight. If we wanted to go straight to the Jeep, we could turn left right here, and I may do that later if we get stuck up here, which we probably will, to be honest, but... It's all part of the fun of it, right? I think it is. Oh my god, okay, you have to be careful because in high it will launch the truck. It'll launch it pretty severely too. Let's put it in low three. Alright, off-road tow truck time. Alright, we're already high centered. Like, literally, we're already high centered. And I, I, I figured that was gonna happen, but I honestly didn't think it was gonna happen that quick. Like, that's really quick for it to happen. So, rock crawling is a no for this thing. Although, I'm gonna go ahead and take it back to... Oh, jeez. That's... The, the spawn is a little... is a little funky. What I am gonna do, though, is take it through the woods and, uh, and actually go over there and meet up with the jeep. The only thing that I'm concerned about is that river. So, hopefully the river doesn't get in our way too, too badly. Sixth. Does it have a seventh? I don't know. I don't know if it has a seventh or not. But it's doing a good job of staying in sixth, so we're alright. Alright, let's see. This looks like a decent enough way to go without high centering ourselves. Maybe hitting trees is an issue, but it's a it, it it's a negligible issue. It's no big deal, right? <laughs> uh okay, that's a little weird. We may have to go over the edge of the hill first. Which will be weird. I'm, I'm not denying that will be weird. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Might have to go over this edge and then... Winch to another tree up here. And that will probably work. Perfect. 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 So with enough... With enough winching... This truck will eventually get where you where, where where you want it to go. I mean, like it will it will go where you point it with enough winch persuasion. Next thing is to get the Jeep on the back of this. And I think normally, see, the tow truck should go to the Jeep, but I think in this scenario, I think we might just pull the Jeep out of there using the tow truck, and yeah, we'll just do it from the bumper. Well, that was, like, dude, that, that happened without an issue, like, easily. Now, only thing left to do is turn this thing around and load the Jeep onto it. Which I think, I mean, I don't know, I think we should try to at least drive a little bit with the Jeep on the back. Unless the game freaks out. If the game freaks out, then we might not, but I'm hoping the game doesn't freak out. Okay. The nice thing about this truck is that, you know what, actually, I'm going to move forward a little bit now that I know we're lined up. And then, I'm going to slide the bed back, and then tilt it. Is it slid all the way? Okay, it was almost all the way back anyway. Alright, that's a little bit in the ground. That'll work. Okay, now, we're going to use the winch to pull the Jeep up onto the tow truck, which works beautifully. There we go. Okay, now it's kind of locked in. Now it's locked in. Okay, so... It's still... It's still wanting to be a little weird. But that's... I think it's, that's as far as we might be able to get it to go. Um... Alright, tilt it back. Oh, no, tilt... Well, tilt it back forward. Undo the winch now. And now... We can just slide the bed back into place. Slide the bed back into place, and our, uh, our, our hauler, basically, is complete. 
Although I do want to drive this thing a little bit further forward, then shut it down, then change back to the tow truck. Now it's exactly how it needs to be. Come on. Okay, yeah, now it's it's it's, it's kind of like, oh god, what are you trying to make me do, dude? Although, well, okay, it's not too bad. I'm gonna put it in low range, so we're just kind of held at a lower speed, so the Jeep doesn't fall off. But I think overall, for a tow truck, and for an off-road tow truck, I mean, it's not gonna get where rock crawlers go. I mean, it's it's just not. That's just not gonna happen. But, uh, you know, off-road, you know, little trails like this, that are relatively even, you know, that you need some decent grip and a little bit of lift um, to get across, you're gonna be fine. And actually, you know what? I'm going to raise the suspension a little bit. That's one of the coolest features of this truck, is that you can raise the suspension to compensate for how much the vehicle you're towing at, or hauling actually weighs, which I think is one of the best things you could possibly do uh, for a tow truck and spin tires. So having adjustable suspension is so good. It's so nice to have an adjustable suspension. Thing is, you really have to watch your angles because with a tall vehicle on the back of the truck, especially once you lift, it, the, lift the suspension up a little bit, it does make it a little top heavy. I do need to check the map to see where we're heading. We are heading to... God. I don't even know. We're heading back to the, like, the crawling area. That's not brilliant. That is, uh, that's not, that's not where we need to be. But I will say, at the end of the day, this is a really, really cool setup. Like, a, a, an extremely cool setup that I cannot wait to see, uh, where they take it, like, going forward, uh, in spin tires, for sure. And I'll definitely use it on some other maps. I think it'll be a really, really cool addition, uh, to your spin tires garage. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time. Talk to you guys later.